<laughs> Are you lonely? She's uh, misunderstood. It's horribly misunderstood. It's always crying and shit. <laughs> oh, right up my alley, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody loves me. Hell yeah, that's the shit, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I remember there was all this controversy like after the show. First of all, you came in second on Charm School, mm-hmm. which is a that's a big deal. I, I want the 50000 now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then what do you get for coming in second? Um, I got 10000 Okay. And then after, I got a contract with Keith Lewis's agency as well, too, which was the Morgan Talent Agency in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. And then I ended up being a, a judge at the Miss California pageant, but then it ended up uh, all over the news on CNN. <laughs> right. Because right. uh, we apparently tabulated the... The votes. Oh, you messed it up. Yeah, they're like, damn it, it's because like Lean was a judge. Yeah. <laughs> so there was an ladies. accounting error. Yeah. <laughs> was this the girl that got in trouble? The this was the one where the girl got in trouble for stripping. For no, gay? Or what? being naked? No, no, no. This was the one for last year. Um, the Miss Los Angeles, the wrong person got crowned. Can I is use my bell without you being upset, Patrice? No, I just was wondering, you know, this Startling, is... Startling, I know. It, you know, you always introduce me some new shit, and I'm wondering why <laughs> there's a bell every five motherfuckers. Let's do it. <laughs> you know. Now, Eileen, like, there was all this controversy because people were like, oh, because you were a stripper before you you got on these shows. Hell yeah, nigga. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, this is why you need another girl. I'm sorry about that. Let me, let me be fucking adult about this. But you need a male point of view. What too, kind of so. stripper, though? Like one of these ones that try to have dignity or you was full bush and everything? I don't know. I was like VIP only. Oh, okay. He's on it. Yeah, yeah, and just talk my way out of dancing. <laughs> you kind of stripper that Adam Pac-Man Jones would punch in the face. Take your pants off, bitch. <laughs> VIP only? What does that mean? Um, well, I usually work in Dallas at the Lodge. Mm. Um, yeah. No more? Uh, no, I, I went back and danced so I could pay for film school. But now you're a... you got to be a feature now. You must make mad money for the... Yeah, to go into a feature, you actually could make a lot of money. Yeah. No, actually, I don't go on stage. The people there that own the club, um, the VIP clientele there. I mean, I really don't think the South feels a recession. They all own own oil and I don't know cattle and mm-hmm. gas and they're stuff good. like that. Yeah, <laughs> so they got bling bling, you know. Right. <laughs> so uh, they're pretty much like, oh my god, is she really here? So they're all just like, wow, fascinated she by her. I'll do anything. Play no. jazz, play it's like something. just to go up there in a VIP, you have to pay the club, not me, but the people there have to pay 2000 just to get a VIP membership. Mm-hmm. And how much and then, you get it on? Oh, I get paid like 500 for the hour to keep the VIP, like, like entertained. Chit-chat. chit-chat. But isn't that a paid loss? And if you was taking off clothes, you get you could get probably a lot more than five hundred. Well, if I get paid to like eat like a steak and lobster dinner because they have like really good food there, so you're like, why not? Now. She's been upgraded to company. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, all right, cool. <laughs> Look, she's touching himself. Yeah. Oh, that's not even a I was touching my. <laughs> I'm touching my cross just to make sure I don't say nothing fucked up. What, but but you got upgraded to a company, which in in, in, in that in that world is like you just, you don't have to do shit, but just be pleasant. Yeah. And eat. Yeah, that's easy for you. Yeah, it's almost like being the VIP host there. Yeah, it's being pleasant. Hey, yeah. you good? You enjoying yourself? <laughs> and how many hours you work a night? One. But if you get five, no, but no, I pretty like much four. <laughs> no, I, I just honestly, I just mm-mm. like after a while, you're just over it. And over there, they're pretty, they're very nice. Like I pretty much can make anywhere from a thousand to two thousand just for hanging out. And how much to lose your pride? Meaning, how much <laughs> do I have to offer you? you oh, you, I don't, dude. You I'm like giving up some VH1 pussy. Nah, nah. You gotta put some time in. Put some, I'm saying. Honestly, I'm not good at dancing. I, I, I after all the years, no, after all the years that I've been dancing, I still don't even know how to go up and down that stripper pole. You can't even do that. No, oh, you're a lazy. And like, yeah, I am. I'm just like, just, just give me money just to look at me. You know. <laughs> I, you know what? I would think you'd be good at that because you do martial arts. Right? Don't you do martial arts and stuff? No, I studied uh, wrestling with Ron Hutchison, the guy that yeah, trained were... Trish Stratus and Adage and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But with mud on. <laughs> yeah, I would think you should like have mud, mud, some oil, some corn. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> trying to fight. Well, but hold on, for real, real quick, and I gotta just ask you for. <laughs> you got a sheik. It's not even like a like a rich football player who's, who's like kind of trying to play you. It's a sheik. He he loves you just because he loves you, right? He ain't on. He don't. He never seen VH1. He just like, oh my god. He has to have you physically. Oh. A mil. A sheik. Uh-uh. A million. Come on, let's play hypothetical game. 
Okay, baby, that's a ridiculous. mill. A mill. Patrice and would have sex with the sheep for a million. <laughs> I was going to say fuck that, but I was thinking about this shit. What you do? I, I don't take it in the ass, but that nigga want to play with me with my balls and stuff. I'm going to do it for a mil. For a million dollars. So you let the sheep play with your balls? Yeah, for a mil? I ain't got no fucking money, man. I don't know. For a million dollars, they mean that's crazy. If you say hypothetically, no. Come on, hypothetically. Let's, let's leave real world, like actual world. Let's, let's go into, like, there's a lot of hungry people world. And I offer you... No, because I'm like, like a person, like, I'm like all about love and I'm emotional and stuff like that. I don't know. I can't do that. I would do it for a million dollars. Well, I mean, did he kiss me on the show and I lost there? it completely. I was like, oh my God, I'm in love. And I blew like 250000 opportunity there. Yeah, that, yeah. that was an expensive loss. Yeah. That what about, what about girls? If you could rewind and go back. <laughs> Are you into, like, I would never, like, girls? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah? Yeah. But no, not even. Or? Yeah, no, I, I like girls. What yeah. about a female chic for a million? <laughs> yes, she do that for cheaper. <laughs> Actually, to tell you the truth, if like I have a date coming up, my very first official date mm. on June twenty fifth. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? The Vancouver good dude, you know? No, I thought we were over him. He no, no, no here, here, he like, yeah, whatever. He's already flying in anyway. So wait, wait, wait. <laughs> back up, back up a minute. This guy was missing for how long? Not getting reception because he was by a lake. Yeah, a day. So a whole entire day, yeah. No reception, but you're gonna go out with him because he already flew. <laughs> he already, he's flying out. She knows the deal. Yeah, she knows it. Yeah, is. stop trying to That's always it listen, Angie. It is what it don't is. Don't always try to upgrade every girl <laughs> into like no, go. I don't shoot a fucking red pill or whatever the fuck <laughs> is that keeps her in the matrix. And just stop trying to go. You know what she was doing, girl. <laughs> He was up there and fucking somebody at the lake. <laughs> leave him, let him, she know, leave him fuck alone. She love him. As soon as he dropped her off, he called Layleen like, yo, sorry, my phone, I was at the lake. Why, <laughs> hey, why were you at a lake? Get some pussy. Well, like, you know that. <laughs> like, you, well, leave her alone. Don't force her to, like, confront that shit. She believes he was thinking. <laughs> So I think she was good. I was getting my thoughts together and shit. So wait, where is this? What's this nigga look like? Hold on, yeah. I don't know what he looks like. No, I'm gonna show you this stuff. Like, oh, what he look like? What he look like? I hope he's fat. So I don't like <laughs> <laughs> see a chubby no, I'm not, I'm not showing you now. Exotic. What does he look like? Is he good half, looking? He's like a white, white boy. <laughs> yeah, half a time. He's an exotic European. Oh, maybe he's getting his stuff No, together. no, no. I look, at, look at this Irish motherfucker who pumped his fist. <laughs> <laughs> Regular white boy nigga. <laughs> 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 He's like, yeah, white guy. He's some magical motherfucker. I know. Him. Come on, let's see what he looks like. How'd you meet him? No, I'm not showing. Because <laughs> then everyone's gonna be like, ha ha. How'd you meet him? I met him. <laughs> I met him in Las Vegas, and he oh, stopped me um, at Caesar's Forum Shop. He's like, I know you, don't I? I'm like, no, you don't. You know? I was like, no, you don't. A million times. I was like, no, you don't know me. And he's like, are you from Toronto? I was like, oh shoot, do I know this guy? Yeah, I was like, who are you? You know? Right. And clearly, he looked you up. No, Flavor of Love wasn't showing in Canada yet at that time, and I was just like, who are you? You know? So he asked for my phone number. He said he was there for a bachelor party, and here I am. I'm hustling the guy. Oh, drop by the Rhino. I'm there. Wow. Okay. So this is a while ago. Uh, yeah, three years ago. So this is your first date with him three years later? Yeah, because uh, I was in a relationship then. I didn't give him my number. I was like, uh, here's my email. You can always piece me. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Fair enough. So, so you're like a romantic then. You're not, you know. Well, maybe he'll take you to the lake also. Kind of hopeless. You you no, know, I told him. Are you romantic? Are you a romantic person? <laughs> yeah, hopeless. Because how, how did he get in, in there? Like, I always wondered, like, On how... On Facebook. <laughs> How did, did he stay like friendly? The, like he did the friend game? And, yeah, and, and he was in the friend game. That usually don't work. Yeah, I'm, usually I'm, you stay in that friend category. I'm anti that shit. But, but right that now, shit Lillian works. is vulnerable. This is her first date in a long time. She's vulnerable. Here, let me tell you something. There's no guy that don't want none. Alright? So understand that. Don't try to find the one that ain't trying to get none. You understand? It's no such thing. It's no such thing. I just I told him I would that. kiss on the first day. You told him you would? She will sung his cock. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the second date, okay? Oh shit. <laughs> it is Shake What Five is lip service. Layleen is here, Patrice on the Layleen, they're asking what's your um Twitter on my Twitter. Layleen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just right, I figured, right. oh my god, I'm like gonna forget it, so Let me do it. Alright, Shay forty five, call us up.